This is why you should start a cybersecurity career in 2023. The first thing I want to cover on this list is the fact that there is a huge demand for cybersecurity jobs. I know we're coming off of the topic about the recession and layoffs. There are still thousands and tens of thousands of job openings for cybersecurity roles out there. There's estimated to be a huge growth in cybersecurity. When you think of the job market, there's always going to be ups and downs. And I really think that even with this tech recession, there's going to be a bounce back for the tech sector, especially for cybersecurity roles. And there are many statistics out there on the fact that cybersecurity roles are going to be growing a lot faster than software engineering roles and many of the other currently popular roles in tech as well as the fact that there's going to be about 3.5 million jobs in cybersecurity going unfilled by 2025. So right now there's a huge demand for cybersecurity talent but there isn't enough talent to fill in those roles especially the further you go in your career the more you'll see experienced roles for cybersecurity going unfilled which also just generally leads to better job prospects so I really think cybersecurity is an awesome field to go into and it is not too late to start. I recommend the Simply Learn postgraduate program in cybersecurity. So so the Simply Learn postgraduate program in cybersecurity is one of the best programs out there, especially for someone who is looking to become an expert in the field. What I think is the most impressive about this program is the fact that it has modules from MIT as well as EC Council, which both are highly acclaimed in tech as well as in the cybersecurity space. Their next cohort does start soon, so if you're interested, I would definitely check out the link in my description. And it's about 5 to 10 hours a week, so it's definitely a very good pace if you're someone who is looking for a flexible cybersecurity program to get into. There's definitely a huge plus of the program. It has 4.5 stars on SwitchUp as well as Course Report, and it also won the best cybersecurity certification bootcamp by course report. So what's also amazing about this program is the extra things that you get along with it. You also get access to become part of the MIT CSAIL professional programs to be able to connect with other peers who've taken this program. And of course, the partnership with EC Council, which is a huge one. In my opinion, this is one of the biggest pros of the program. You get access to the learning kit from EC Council, an exam voucher for any certifications that you might want to take in the future, which by the way, EC Council makes many, many of the most popular cybersecurity certifications out there. And exam vouchers themselves already cost hundreds of dollars. A few other awesome highlights from the course itself are the master classes from MIT faculty, 25 hands-on projects, as well as capstone projects in three different cybersecurity domains, which that hands-on experience is so valuable when you actually go on to apply for cybersecurity jobs because they're going to be looking for that real-world experience and you get that directly in the cybersecurity program. And the huge plus is six months free access to CEH. Most cybersecurity bootcamps don't offer this many resources. So for the cybersecurity certification itself, there is a learning path that they provide you. So starting off with orientation for the program and then moving on to designing secure systems, applications, building a hacker mindset, designing and engineering the security posture of an organization, cybersecurity tech application and policy, as well as the cybersecurity capstone project. So this is definitely a very well-rounded course along with an elective for an MIT cybersecurity masterclass. There's going to be 37% more job growth for security roles, as well as a very high average salary. You can also review their admissions details to be eligible for the program. You don't need to have a programming background and you also don't need to have prior work experience. They also have admissions counselors if you're looking to apply and maybe have some questions about the process. You can always schedule a call with them or book out an appointment. The program itself costs $3,000 and they also have financing options available. Thank you so much to Simply Learn for sponsoring today's video and if you guys are interested in checking out the postgraduate program in cybersecurity, you can check out the link in my description to get started. The next thing I want to cover on this list is tied to my first point and that is the fact that cybersecurity is definitely more recession proof than other jobs in tech. So if you guys have been keeping up with the news articles and trends about the job market in general, specifically in the tech sector, there are definitely many companies who are having layoffs and hiring increases, but in general cybersecurity seems to be against that trend with many cybersecurity companies still looking to hire and this is something that I've talked about many times on my channel, which is the fact that typically it takes a long time to the first overall deal with the hiring process of hiring a new cybersecurity analyst or whatever other cybersecurity role that you're trying to fill. Filling that role in general it takes a much longer time so because the talent pool is so competitive in terms of finding that right candidate for your company when you do get hired on you also have to learn you also have to learn the kind of landscape of your company cybersecurity environment so in general that onboarding process in my opinion is a lot more rigorous and time consuming than someone who is just coming in to do a job that doesn't require that in-depth knowledge that a cybersecurity professional will need if you want them to be able to actually give you relevant input and insights based on what they've seen as well as the fact that during times of recession and economic downturn there's a big is also going to be a lot of buzz in terms of nation states and different hackers and attacks and vulnerabilities that are just flying
flying around. And because of all these different factors, companies typically aren't going to first start laying off their cybersecurity teams. While cybersecurity isn't necessarily a profit generating team, unless you're a cybersecurity company or a third party pen testing organization, you're typically going to be the one saving your company money in terms of in terms of financials or reputational damage. So I really think that in general, cybersecurity roles tend to have more job security and are a bit more recession proof than the typical job out there, even compared to popular jobs in the tech sector like data scientists, software engineers, as well as non-technical roles. And of course, this also highly depends on the company and the sector that you're in. I recently made a video on the best places to work in cybersecurity in terms of job security, as well as salary, as well as risk versus reward. But the next thing I want to discuss is high starting salaries. So if you guys didn't know, when I started my first cybersecurity job, I was actually able to negotiate for a six figure salary with no prior experience in cybersecurity. And that is something that I honestly never had expected. There aren't many jobs in general that you can go straight in without any previous without any previous full-time work experience and be able to start at a salary that high. And I'm not saying that every single cybersecurity role is going to start at six figures, but in general across the board, the average salary for cybersecurity professionals across the US and internationally is much higher than the typical median household income. I think this is something that's really important to note because nowadays especially, I think this in general just really sets you up for success because of the fact that you're able to start at a relatively high starting salary and down the line in your career as you get more promotions and more experience and more skills sets to add in your toolkit, you'll be able to then leverage those experiences and skills and then be able to negotiate for higher salaries depending on your years of experience and your experience level. And all of this is really just because the bar in terms of starting salaries is, is really just this much higher compared to a typical role when you graduate from a bootcamp or graduate from a degree program, especially as you gain more highly sought after cybersecurity skills and tool sets. For example, if you want to go into the red team and then you eventually go for your certification with the OSCP, then you're going to be receiving highly competitive salaries with that certification as well as the fact that because cybersecurity has these certifications available to you you're able to kind of upgrade and level up your your career and your credentials so that you're able to also use those as a leverage to then negotiate for higher salaries or better work benefits the next thing i want to discuss is one of my favorite topics and that is being able to work remotely so if you guys don't know i currently work as a cybersecurity analyst working completely remote and that's something that i really value highly so personally when I first started my career, I was working in the office and after the pandemic happened, I started working fully remote and then I switched into my current job earlier this year and have been working remotely ever since. I really think that this has provided so much flexibility in terms of in terms of work-life balance as well as cutting back on commute time, which then adds to my professional development and being able to learn new skills and, and just being able to have a more well-rounded work life, especially because my team is fully remote. So I don't really have to worry about the career impacts or whether it's in the short term or the long term when it comes to my actual career career growth and the trajectory of where I want to go. I think this is definitely something that is a huge pro and with more and more companies choosing to adopt fully remote policies based on an actual conversation I had with a recruiter from a different company while I was interviewing um, earlier this year for cybersecurity jobs, the recruiter actually mentioned to me that typically for their cybersecurity team, they are the most open to fully remote possibilities because of the fact that it's so hard to find a cybersecurity candidate that is right for the position. And typically they don't live in big cities. They may live in secondary cities or smaller towns across the US or internationally. And it's basically the case where they go to the talent rather than making the talent go to them. And that is something I think that really rounds up the entire cybersecurity hiring prospect, especially for smaller to medium sized companies who are able to have people work remotely. Of course, if you're dealing with hardware, it may make more sense for you to go into the office, but for jobs like a security analyst or an engineer, if you can do all of your work from a laptop from anywhere in the world, I don't see why you have to go into an office space unless you want to, to do your work. And that's something that I really value in my job. And I know many of you guys also care about working remotely since I get a lot of questions on just finding a remote job and, and how to find a role that allows you to work remotely, as well as being able to negotiate that as part of your terms while you are looking for a job. So I will say that cybersecurity jobs in general have a much higher have a much higher acceptance level of just being able to allow remote work. And the last thing I want to discuss is the fact that many cybersecurity jobs have a low barrier to entry, especially for beginner level roles. And I will say there are jobs out there in cybersecurity that may require you to have an OSCP, that may require you to have a security clearance. But in terms of the beginner entry level jobs, many companies and employers out there don't require you to have a degree program. You can start your first job with no experience in cybersecurity after graduating from an online program and maybe getting a certification. 
I actually have a video on the best beginner certifications out there. If you guys are interested, I can link that down in the description below. So just combining this with the fact that there are there are typically going to be high starting salaries in cybersecurity, along with the fact that there is a low barrier to entry. For example, you don't need a master's degree or a PhD to be able to go into cybersecurity and start as a security analyst or an SOC analyst, which are going to be the typical roles that you start in in cybersecurity. Or maybe you're starting on the IT side and working on a more security focused role as well. So there's really just a lot of options for you there. And sometimes people go the route where they start on help desk and then move on to cybersecurity if that's something that they want to do, or they directly start as a junior network analyst so it really depends there's going to be junior level roles for all the different areas that you might want to go into in cybersecurity whether it's a junior pen tester or a junior threat analyst so you really just have a lot of options as long as you're able to show that you have the skill set whether it's through personal projects or maybe previous internships or maybe you did take and pass a certification or an online course that you can add to your resume to showcase the skills and the tools that you've worked with all right so that's it for this video let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions in the comments whether it's about how to get started in cybersecurity or if you have something else that you'd like to add to this list for reasons why maybe you've gotten into cybersecurity and decided to choose this as a career path. Thank you so much to Simply Learn for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys are interested in checking out Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity, their next cohort starts on January 26, 2023, and there are limited seats available. So I would definitely check out the link in my description if you guys want to learn more and join their next program. Thank you guys so much again for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications. I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. Except this month where I'm posting every single day for the month of December. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.